number of years, Nebraska's second congressional district has been one of the tightest races in the country, with Bacon winning in 2016 by just over 1% of the vote. That's why tomorrow's Democratic primary is being watched nationally. Democrat John Henry Moore has voted for Brad Ashford in the past. Tomorrow, he'll choose Cara Eastman, who he says has stuck to her Democratic ideals. She's done great work in the community. I've known Cara for years, that uh, she's done a lot of great work with the Omaha Healthy Kids Alliance, and uh, know that she's dedicated to uh, progressive values in Nebraska. While Eastman is more ideologically to the left on issues like health care and taxes, Ashford preaches bipartisanship which some think will allow him to beat Congressman Don Bacon and the general. So to win the second district, you, you've got to have a message of compromise and you can't be too far to the left. And some progressives believe Ashford does have the liberal credentials and he also brings a realistic approach to governing. There's a lot of progressive issues that Brad has represented for his entire life. He doesn't take NRA money, never has. But he's been on the board of Planned Parenthood. He fights for children and CHIP and their health insurance. And he understands that Medicare for all is going to cost money to implement. It's not free. Eastman has canvassed hard over the last few months to further her name recognition and energize the liberal base of her party. Supporters think that she'll need the base to turn out in high numbers for her to get the nod over Ashford. I think people are pretty fired up about this uh, primary and uh, I hope we get a good turnout tomorrow. Regardless, after Tuesday, many Democrats agree they need to unite behind whoever wins. I think they're looking to get Bacon out of office and represent values across the board and move towards instituting progressive issues and bringing them here. And Congressman Don Bacon is running unopposed in the GOP primary. He plans to head to the polls when they open on Tuesday morning at Wellspring Church in Papillion before heading back to Washington, D.C. John Kipper for us tonight. The race